Previously on 610 Productions. Should I continue my life as Fonzarelli? I might as well just quit. We need good music! Get out, get the fuck out. Fonzarelli is back. To my super friends from this mother, mother. And now, time for part three of some cool trilogy. Biatch! Does everybody else run this mother, mother? Hell no! What a night tonight was. <laughs> Four best friends from different musical backgrounds. About as awkward as a metalhead dating a believer, but it friggin' rules. Aw, oh, shit. The kid with the girly hair kicked me out. Hey, let me in! What's the password? 200 pound Chinese transvestite with long curly blonde hair who sold drugs to squirrels at a Westchester University courtyard while having sex with your third cousin. Come in. Oh yeah, thanks for letting me in, dude. Wasn't that video great, that performance that you saw on Facebook Live? Aren't my friends better than yours? And I'm not retiring, I'm back. I can't believe I thought of a dumb idea like retirement. Oh my god, my Instagram. I'm fond of smelly. I suck really bad at rapping and I'm worse at producing. Ha <laughs> oh, freaking liberal. Love each other. Jeez. This is a limp strong for my lady friends. It's as small as my thumb. They're coming to get me. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Catch the wave. Somebody hacked my Instagram with that? And I doubled in followers? Yeah, when the main star quits, usually somebody takes his place, and then does worse than him. Happens all the time. Who did this? That's a mystery best left unsolved. You did this, you son of a bitch. Well, I'm gonna kick your ass. Uh-oh, anal leakage. Those anti-giving-a-shit pills, they're starting to have effect. And I'm actually literally going to give a shit. Where, where's the can? I gotta take a major dump. Oh, fuck the can, I'm just gonna go on you. I dedicate this to every grossed out woman. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, oh. I'm free. I'm free. Thanks for vaporizing that kid with curly hair from existence. You are God. I can't believe you liked being up my ass for a few hours. I can't believe you're a poppin' smells worse. Well, blame that kid, he reeks. You know, I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back as a kid with manly hair, and a brain, and just appear out of nowhere. Yes, you've got a point. But is this all believable? Is all what believable? Well, the fact that I was stuffed up your ass for a few hours, and the fact that I flew up north and took a hundred acre dump that destroyed some city, and the fact that I just vaporized the kid with girly hair from existence, and he'll magically appear out of buttfuck nowhere as a kid with manly hair and a brain? What can make anything that illogical be believable. Well, how about the fact that last November, 60 million Americans believed global warming was a hoax by the Chinese, and they put the guy who said that in the freaking White House. Huge. Yes, and that reminds me, I was actually flying to Canada, but I stopped in Philly to save your musical career. I feel great about my music. Thanks for saving my career. And you know, I do want Trump to do a good job. That'll benefit douches and turds equally both at the same time. We are so sick of people talking like that. Well, that's America for you. And that didn't hurt. Because there's nothing there, jackass. Yeah, you got a point. And he's learned something today. He has matured past the age of 14 in his head. Oh, my finger, fart knocker. Michael Roberts has learned an important lesson. He has learned that Fonzarelli is more than just something he started in middle school for attention. It initially was that, but as time went on, he realized that all of his creative outlets are part of 610 Productions. Fonzarelli is just a piece of 610 Productions, and it's the most beloved one, for good reasons. He's matured past 14, and now he's going on to 14 and a half. Oh man, that fart sounded like a British dweeb giving some gay little speech. That nailed what I was going through just now. And to adjust to Michael Roberts' outgrowing whatever the hell it is feeling, we are upgrading 610 Productions, calling it 610 Productions 3.0. Yeah, just 610 Productions 3.0, to appeal to a broader audience. I like that. Yes, 
Say, Mike, when do you retire your music? Never. When I'm 80, I'm still gonna be doing this music thing. I'd like to see that. You at 80 years old. Struggling artist, runs out of ideas, and has writer's block, questions if he still has fans, and wonders what they like. The artist is not inspired, and he's losing the motivation to continue writing and performing. Now he's questioning retirement. Luckily, he meets some crazy far-out dude straight out of his bathroom and shit, who give him lots of praise and make him feel good about his music. <laughs> then he decides he'll keep up with the music and stay in the business until he croaks. Hey, everybody! How's everyone doing tonight at Mike Stock Turns 52? I can't hear you! Why? Why? Good, 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 good. So, I'm Mike Fonzarelli Roberts. I'm 80 years old, and I've been doing this for a while. When I was 32, I thought of retiring. I think of retiring all the time whenever I have a wedgie or something. When I was 32, people thought I was 17. And they think I'm 32 now. <coughs> yeah. That was in 2017. Anybody remember that year? Interesting time. You had to wipe your ass with toilet paper. And Justin Bieber was considered good. People were offended by the phrase, Cut loogie. People were offended by that? Yeah, what fucking pussies they were. But I'm gonna sing a song called The World's Oldest Kids. I was 29 when I made that, off my seventh album, Dodging Adulthood. I made 42 albums, so this one was a little hard to pick out. Uh, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and sing it. We just wanna have fun, not do what we're told. They say we're still young, sometimes we feel old. They, they say we're still young. They say we're still... <coughs> hey, heart attack. <coughs> I ain't dead. I just had bad gas. Get out my head. Does Bobby become constipated again? Find out and- Yeah! I totally become constipated again, motherfucker! Okay, we're done. 610 Productions. <laughs>